All right, hello and welcome back, everybody. This is David with Fairmere's Rangers, and we're picking back up with part three of our France campaign on the mobile app. I'm playing on my iPad, and we're left off with this naval battle here against the British. So we'll see if we can go ahead and defeat these guys coming at it. Of course, I got a fifth rate and a sixth rate. We're just going to use, of course, the same strategy. I'm speeding this up for your convenience. As, like I've stated before, I'm fighting these battles in two times speed because the mobile with the touch control, it's hard for me to fight these battles on the extreme fast forward. So that's my preferred way to fight naval battles. It's how I've got and developed my timing for, for things. So I'm getting used to doing this two times speed on mobile. I think I've done, I've gotten pretty good now at the naval battles on mobile. <clears throat> So, we're just going to continue forward, and we're going to, we got both the ships pretty much under our control. Both of them have, uh, one of them has all of its mass down, the other one has, I think it's got two down. It's hard to tell, but we're going to get in our ships a little closer and try to get this guy to surrender, and then we'll work on the other one. So we almost we got this battle wrapped up already. We'll let y'all finish observing this one and then we'll we'll continue on. Alright, hopefully this guy gives up the fight here pretty quick. I think he finally did. My lord. He was determined, this guy. Alright. Now, I just gotta remember to add the fifth rate. As I forgot the last battle. So we'll click the button here at the bottom left. Add them to the, so you click that button, it, oh, it brings up the ships, then you have to add the ship to your, to your fleet. And then we collect the cash on the rest. It gives us another fifth rate. For those of you that are following along for the first time, adding these fifth rates are very important. We need to maintain all of our trade routes as trade is pretty important for the French. Other campaigns as well, especially like the Dutch, uh, British, are very dependent on trade. The Ottomans are a little, little crazy on what they want for their, uh, for their trade agreement. I'm not giving them a thousand bucks for a trade agreement. They can give me a thousand. They've lost their mind. They want eleven hundred dollars. They loco. Let's 
Okay, we, looks like we're going to be fighting another naval battle, this time against the Portuguese. We got two fifth rates and a sixth rate. We're going to go ahead and save this for safety. And then we're going to go ahead and fight this. Again, I'm going to speed up the, the footage just so that we can uh, make this more viewable for you, the audience at home. All right, so once again, I'm going to explain this because I know I got a lot of first time viewers that are very new to the game since the mobile app released. I split my fleet up in different directions so that way the ships started coming towards me. That's what I want. I want them coming towards me with them with the wind at their back so that they can have their sails up so I can shoot down their sails using chain shot, take out their, their masts and then make them immobile. And once they're immobile, then it's a guaranteed win. Unless you're really bad. So we've already got one with one mass down. We should be able to get this one down pretty quick. We're getting doubled up on them now. There's one mass down. We'll just try to get another mass down. There goes the second. So this fifth rate is completely uh, disrupted. We've got a second mass down on the other fifth rate. There's all the mass on the first one. Now we'll work on the last ship. And there goes the first mast. I will say that in this app, the uh, the turning of the ships is a little hard to do. They, don't, they turn way wider than they do in the PC game. So that's something to keep in mind if you're getting this game for the first time. And yeah, it, it does make it a little more difficult. All right, we've got the first ship that has surrendered. Now we're just going to work on the two fifth rates, and we got this battle won. All right, finally, that's that, as they say. And let's get to the results, add us uh, another fifth rate. I don't think I'm gonna take both of them on this one. Cause also adding all these fifth rates does increase your expenses. So we're gonna add one, get the cash on the rest. Now that I'm adding all these fifth rates, I can start dismantling some of these other ships in my fleet. Well, the Portuguese just keep producing ships, don't they? All right, I'm, I'm not going to bother fighting this one. I think I'm naval battled out at this point. <laughs> so I'm going to push on away from him. And I guess he's got the ability to catch up to me, which sucks. So lose that six rate. So we'll have to get another ship over here to the Guyanas to transport them. I'll probably bring another fifth rate. 
and a six rate to come. Because it's important for us to do that because that's how we're going to open up getting uh, fleets to the trade nodes is from the guy on us. Because it, it, it gives us a real quick window to the trade nodes. So it's easy for us to replenish our ships as they as we need to. Okay, we had the War of Secession, so... We're at war with Austria and Bavaria and Wittenberg now. Now that my um, other colleges are built, I'm going to see, or schools, I'm going to see it did add more tech, 20 extra points to my, my research. So we're going to see if we can add that to empiricism, and we cannot, which sucks because, well, I mean, I only got one turn left anyway on it. But it doesn't look like you can add more than a certain amount of points to a tech. So tech does take longer to research for each tech, but you can rec uh, you can research more tech at once in this new version. Because it definitely seems like, I mean, empiricism took me quite a long time to get done. Versus in the uh, PC version, I think it's usually like three turns, if I'm not mistaken, to get completed with a uh, gentleman in the building. So yeah, we're already on turn five, so that's not er, not really ideal. Because then when you get to those texts like fire by rank, I just want to bust through those, get them done. Um... So I guess we'll have a little bit of waiting to get through some of those tech. We'll see how it goes as we progress. Maybe we can add more points to those type of tech. I don't know. We're, we'll learn together. All right. We got the uh, Westphalians that we're going to be going towards now. Even though we do have the... Um, oh, I'm sorry. We are... Yeah, we're going after Westphalia. We do have Wittenberg that has uh, declared war on us with the Austrians, but let's let's bust out the um, the good old Westphalians here real quick. Now I'm going to add that other reinforcing army that I was bringing from my other army, the defeated army over in France. Combining them up, and we'll go ahead and fight this battle. In just a moment, I want to make sure I got everything else done before I fight this battle. Sometimes when I'm done with a battle, I forget to complete other tasks and hit the intern. And I don't want that to happen because I got a lot of things to do. I got A200 to spend and definitely a lot of things that need to be done. All right, so I'm also putting the sold uh, most of my um, units into the fort to reduce down their cost, because supposedly the um, being in the fort does reduce their cost. Okay, so I got one Portuguese ship blocking our trade route. We'll have to deal with that later. Okay, I got this fleet here. Need to get them moving back. Over and towards southern France to make sure that port is protected. I really got lucky they haven't... The that they haven't tried to blockade that port yet. They typically like to do that, so I'm kind of shocked they don't. They didn't, I should say. Okay, make sure all my buildings I need 
upgrading are done. I am going to upgrade a college, at least one. We'll start with this one. I don't want to do them all at once. But we'll get one started. Now we'll head over to the Americas. Once that building's done, I should get another couple points added to my uh, research. Which will be good. Okay, the Guyanas, we need to finish off this. Let's go ahead and send these guys on. Recruit another Cav. Then we can send them over. He should be close enough when we send him over next turn to uh, assist us with that battle. So it does look like they did not recruit any more units, but the bowmen that got away from that last battle, as we suspected, are full strength now. So luckily they didn't increase the number of units there. That should be a pretty easy win for us, but they got one more intern, so they might add another unit by that time. We'll see which one they add. We're going to go ahead and fight this battle here. Our boy Claude de Villers going to be our general in charge. So we'll get to it. They outnumber us by just under 100 men. The majority of their units are absolute trash. But again, I'm fighting this on very hard, very hard, so all their men get buffs. So, yeah. Okay, let's get ready to fight this battle. Now, I will tell you that somebody commented in the comments below, and I was trying to go back through and and find the comment, and uh, I just, I don't know why, but I, I'm having, I couldn't find the comment, but somebody left a comment in the comment below, and they said, if you're having trouble placing your units, you can select all the units, and then use two fingers to drag them and man let me tell you that's a game changer right there this will help micro tremendously and i thank that person so much so if it's if it was you that commented on that please uh give me another comment so i can give you a big thank you on that because like i said that is a big game changer for me and there's another person who commented and let me see if I can find that one. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to Rob's right 4256. Uh, he commented and he let me know also that if you group your units and then ungroup them, they're going to stay sorted as they were in the group. So I haven't had a chance to try that out because... The, that comment was made after I had uh, recorded this, but let me promise you that I'm going to be trying that out because if that can help sort the cards below where we don't have, like you can see below, the militia are all split up. Um, it just makes it very difficult to get to your units below. So that's something I'm going to definitely be trying because if that's the case, man, that's, that's just excellent because in the PC version... Yeah, that definitely won't happen. You're, you're just stuck with your guys out of order. So, I love the comments that, and suggestions and feedback that people are giving me in the comments. Uh, it's helping a tremendous amount. All right, back to the battle. We are traversing forward. The Westphalians are coming at us pretty good, um, which is great. So we're just going to set up for that as they traverse forward. I think they only have one cav unit in this battle, so 
That should make this pretty easy for me since I got two. So as they get closer, I'm going to close up, but I want them coming at me in a pretty tight space. I'm just going to match where they're extending to. I wouldn't be doing this if they had calf because I'd want to make sure I had plenty of units to shoot down the calf as it charges into the front ranks. But since we don't have that problem, we don't have to worry. All right, they're slowly coming forward. There's, they got a unit that's uh, crossing over. I might see if I can slide up and get some shots on him as they're reorganizing their lines. And then here I go with a misclick. We're gonna go up there, see if we can get some action on this guy. Unfortunately, he's getting shots on me, and that panics me, and I misclick. So I got to resort. Yeah, just not ideal. Then I'm <laughs> just making all kinds of terrible mistakes here. Luckily, it's a citizen, so he's not getting too many kills on me. We're almost formed up, and then we'll be able to take some shots on him. I got to wait till they're completely formed, and then I can click the fi target fire and then my men will shoot off at an angle there we go so it's a little bit different from the PC version because if you target shoot you can actually shoot sideways all of your men in the front rank, rank will shoot sideways so this is a little bit different because not all the men in the rank are shooting alright my pike men will be able to take him down Right, he's only shot down six of them so far and we're into him so that guy should break pretty quickly pikeman should make pretty easy work of him all right we're gonna set up we're gonna pull the line forward I love that. All right, let's get that pikeman back. No need to chase. Let's get this last line of infantry up. Okay, we're about to hammer this flank. Well, I got a jumbled mess over here. All right. All right, here's another issue. I didn't even notice, but my cab is walking instead of charging full, full gallop. So here's another problem. I thought I had double clicked him. So I'm gonna get shot by this citizen, fortunately. And I lose a few cav, and then look at this. This is just disaster striking. Luckily, I am about to break one of these guys. But my cav charge was an absolute atrocious mess. Okay, we're going to go in with the bayonet. 
working them down pretty good. They've got all these citizens on the left side lined up, so we should be able to get a mass route going here. So that's what we're going to work on doing. Okay. Look at this. My calf's still walking. Boom. Okay, that flank is completely gone. Let's go ahead. We're going to charge into the right flank. You can see here my, my micro has just slowed down so much. We're going to push through this uh, guy over here. We're going to bring up the Lancers. starting to get some more breakage there I got my cab in the back running down these guys so they don't come back we're gonna go ahead and charge in in the center got them on the run got more units breaking I'm having trouble just with the micro of it just keeping the the momentum going so I'm losing some momentum and I'm, I'm not able to get a mass route because I wasn't able to string together the routing as I wanted. And I'm actually about to lose one of my units. One of my militias about to route. I should have had my general up closer. I think I'll end up bringing him up soon. I just lost the militia. Here comes the Lancer charge. I got the Cav charge in behind. So this should cause a ripple effect. I, starting to lose another militia over here on the right starting to waver so not good but we're starting to get a lot of wavering from and breakage from the westphalians so this should be a mass route coming soon this should spread their general is close by and that's what's helping them stay together okay we just got the right side breaking here comes my general there we go. The whole right side is gone. The left side is pretty much gone. We just got to deal with the center. I got my cab that was in the back running down some men. I'm going to do the same with my Lancer. Don't want any of these routing units coming back. All right. Center is gone. We just got one unit that's holding out for some reason, and they're all gone. We just got the general to take care of now. We'll use the cab to go ahead and charge into him. And this battle is ours. Not as smooth as I would have liked, but we got the job done. We used quite a bit of melee, but... Okay, the general has routed. So that should be it. Sorry, I had to pull in close. This game just looks really good on mobile. Highly impressed with the look of this game. They couldn't have done a better job with the look. I mean, my gosh. The graphical update on it is just tremendous. All right, so we, we ended up losing about 377. So not as bad as it seemed. And we absolutely crushed them. Killed almost a thousand of their men. So pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and liberate. And have the Hessians join our cause. So new nation arises, which is Hess. And they are now under our control. I'll need to make sure I get a trade agreement with them. That should be free trade with me. And yeah, that's that for that battle. Now we can focus on the, um, the Wootenberg over in the south. And I accidentally hit the, the in turn. It was lagging a little bit and I hit 
uh, from the screen changes. So I accidentally hit the uh, intern, which sucks because I had a little bit more things I wanted to do. I wanted to move that army down to All Saints Rain to prepare for battle with the uh, with Wootenberg, but I guess we'll have to live with it. So here we are with the intern. All right, so they did recruit one more bowman, and they're attacking me. So we're going to go ahead and fight this. Save this for safety's sake, and then we will fight this battle. This should be pretty easy. Bowmen are pretty easy to defeat, especially when you have cav. All right, we're gonna jump right into this thing. There's no need to really organize too, too much. We're just gonna move our cav over to the left flank and then we're ready to roll. The thing that's nice is that's high ground over here on the left. We'll be able to use that to, as a propellant against the bowman. One thing that makes it really nice to have Cav against Bowman is the Bowman will run from you and they are pretty fast on the on the foot. So they can outrun you, but they can outrun Cav. So that's their, their Achilles, I guess you could say. All right, I think this is kind of go time. So we're gonna go ahead and we're charging in our native auxiliaries. And while they're focusing on that from the Ford, we're about to go ahead and launch our charge downhill onto this, uh, onto their right flank, our left. And they already know it's coming, so they're starting to run. and smash saw the shot come in so i got a couple kills off the firing from the native calf and we're gonna go ahead and run in behind we got one broke the other ones are breaking so this battle is already over easy peasy man easy peasy lemon squeezy that's how it's done All right, let's check out the results. See how many men we lost. Uh, 27 minutes, how many we lost. All right, that army is gone. And now we have an open path to take the Dutch Guyana. Just gotta wait for the intern. Oh, 
Okay. Somebody asked me if Maratha still does their orange crush uh, where they go bananas conquering stuff. So we'll be watching that. I'm pretty sure they are because this is operating pretty much exactly how the PC does. There is small differences. All right. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, we should be able to win this fight. We're going to go ahead and fight this one. We'll do this one quite quickly. And then hopefully I'll remember to take the fifth rate after this because this will give us our fifth rate for this space, which will be South France, which we need to protect that port. Alright, so one thing is they have a Zebec in here. Those, those things are actually quite potent, so I'm going to hopefully knock this guy out quick. Okay, got two of his mass down, three of his mass down, so this should be over for the Zebec pretty quickly. But like I said, they do have some powerful front cannons, the forward cannons on them, so try and get away from him a little bit. See if we can take out this fifth rate. Okay, got a mass down. All right, there's the second mass. This should be in the book. Just have to finish them off now. Not make any dumb moves. All right, they're both totally immobile. So we'll go in and uh, see about finishing this thing off. Okay, it's just a matter of time now. Okay, even I'm just like cracking up how this guy doesn't want to give up here. Finally, my lord. I'm paying the hiney. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and add the fifth rate. And we get 735 in cash for the Zebec. And that's good. Now, like I said, we're adding all these fifth rates. This is going to increase our expenses. So we're going to actually start getting rid of some of these brigs and sloops as we have filled out our fleets with all fifth rates. Because that's the goal, to eventually just only have fifth rates. That includes the six rates. We'll eventually get rid of them as well. The only other ship we'll end up having is the um, trade fleet ships. 
either galleons or just trade ships. All right, so we got 15 more research points to add. So we'll go ahead and do that. Because we did have a tech that finished, or I believe. So we'll get started on increasing our tech, hopefully on something good. All right, so before we do that, I haven't traded any tech yet, so let's let's go ahead and go to the Ottomans and see about getting uh, canister shot from them. So it might take a couple seconds to just get a good trade agreement that works for them. So where we can get the canister shot, and then we can take our research points that we were working on canister shot onto different tech. It's just a matter of working out the right trade for them. See if I can get both of these tech. Probably not, but we'll see what they'll do. Somebody had also asked our, the exploits, like the uh, trade agreement for uh, land, land agreements, uh, exploits still... Um, still able to do those in this game? I would say yes, um, because it seems like all the, the usual kind of trades are able to happen. So I haven't tried it yet. I don't want to really do any of those kind of exploits in, in this campaign, although I am going to try and do some dastardly things. I'm most likely not going to be doing that in this one, but we will have a campaign where we do just full on seeing if all the exploits from the PC are still here in this, which like I said, I'm pretty sure they are. Okay. We've still got 10 research points to dilly out, dilly dally out. However we want to say it. We'll go ahead and start working on spinning Jenny. Take five turns on that. There's one thing I've noticed in playing this campaign so far is I only got one gentleman so far. Which is kind of weird. I thought I'd have another one by this point. But not so much. Not so much. All right. Now we'll start getting these guys moving down to Alsace. And then we'll have them push on to take out Wootenberg next. Okay, we'll take the troops out of Paris and move them over to the fort as well, just to help reduce down our expenses. Nice. All right, things are coming along pretty good. Yes, United Provinces, you are still on my revenge trail. They have seven line infantry added now, but we'll put together an army that will put them to to the task here shortly. Don't don't you worry about that. We definitely will. Okay, and as for everything else, I'm just checking ministers to see if there's any that we can get that are better than what I have. So we'll take a quick look at that.
Right, I think that's the best I can do with the ministers. So, yeah. Looking pretty good. I think that's a good spot to go ahead and end the video. So, thank you for following along the whole way for those of you that have. Um, this is a good time to go ahead and give a nice shout out for all of our channel members. Without their support, this video would not be possible. If you'd like to become a channel member, do so today by clicking below. And you can have early access to videos and exclusive content. So if that's something you enjoy and support the channel, then please do so below. I appreciate you guys as always for all you do and all the comments and, and things that you help and give me support on. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you on the next video as we wrap up this. You can see my last moves here. What we're going to do before we get prepared for the the fourth video coming up next. We'll see you then, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you as always, even though I can't speak. All right. We'll see you then. Préparez-vous. 